Okay, we are live on Facebook, waiting for LinkedIn. Facebook, I'll share the link here. Live link to the support. Sharing it right now. Sumit ji, आप निकल गए सुमित जी डिस्कनेक्ट हो रहे Yeah, I think Facebook is uh, live for uh, everybody. Dr. Kahar, Mr. N.C. Shani, I can't Sir, उनका तबीयत खराब हो गया है जस्ट अभी आफ्टरनून में वो गिर गए थे अच्छा वो बैक पेन बैक पेन हुआ है उनको तो मैं हेड जस्ट 5 मिनट पहले मैं जो उनको कम्युनिकेट किया 515 को सो इट इज हां अभी थोड़ा कल वी विल मोर वी विल गोइंग टू विजिट हिम पर्सनली ओके सो Part it, uh, it is live on Facebook. Yes, yes. Live on Facebook. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, yes, we I can start it. now. Okay. Sure. One second. Yeah, we can start. One second. I'm figuring something out. Kahar, you can start. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Now you can set the timer, Park. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we have a couple of views coming in now. So we shall start. Well, uh, I am Path Bala. I welcome you all uh, to I am Baroda Chapter's website online launch ceremony and as well as the kickoff program for the celebration of Golden Jubilee year of the establishment of I am Baroda Chapter. Once again, thank you all for joining, and uh, I thank all the panelists, all the uh, all the persons who are connected with us. IAM is an organization with a proud past uh, and an exciting future, being one of the largest and most prestigious associations of scientists, engineers, technologists, managers, industrialists in the field of metallurgy and metal materials engineering in India. I heartily welcome today's chief guest, Professor Amol Gokhale, president of IIM, Indian Institute of Metals. He is also the professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in IIT Bombay. I also welcome today the guest of honor, Mr. Kushal Saha, Secretary General, the IIM. I welcome Dr. Sunil D. Kaha, Chairman, IIM Baroda Chapter. Mr. Narendra Saha, Secretary, IIM Baroda Chapter. Mr. Uvesh Wala, Vice Chairman, IIM Baroda Chapter. Mr. Prashant Barodia, Vice Chairman, IIM Baroda Chapter. Mr. Sumit Kenthola, Treasurer, IIM Baroda Chapter. Mr. Heman Panchal, Joint Secretary, IIM Baroda Chapter. And Dr. K. Baba Pai, Ex Officio, Former Chairman, IIM Baroda Chapter. 
I heartily welcome all office bears of IAM and other members of IAM Baroda chapter. I'd like to welcome all the members from various academic institutions and industries from all over this, all over India, from various cities, various states. Once again, thank you all for joining. Now, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Sunil D. Kahar, Chairman, IAM Baroda Chapter. He has more than 16 years of experience as an assistant professor in metallurgical and materials engineering in department in the MS University of Baroda. He is also the Senate member, Government of Gujarat nominee, the MS University of Baroda. He is holding the position of Deputy Director in LNT sponsor ME course and also Deputy Director in the Management Development Center, the MS University of Baroda. He's the state coordinator of IIEFA, Industries, Innovators, Entrepreneurs, Facilitators, and Academia of Vigyan Gurjari, Gujarat. He was appointed as the nodal officer from MS University of Baroda in Vibrant Gujarat Summit 2015, which was held during 8 to 13 January in 2015 at Education Pavilion near Mahatma, Mahatma Mandir Gandhi Nagar. He's the recipient of NACE International Gateway India Sector Corrosion Awareness Award 2014 in the category of Distinction of Corrosion Science and Technology in Research and Education. He's the recipient of IIM KK Award 2015 by IIM Baroda Chapter for recognition of his outstanding, selfless, malicious contribution towards academic research and development. He has guided more than 100 research papers and 100 research projects guided at UG and PG level with various industries. He's the solo author of book entitled Corrosion Behavior of Electroslack Ship Cladded Welder Wille, publishing House Lap Lambert Academic Publishing, Germany. He has presented and published more than 65 research papers in international conferences and international journals. Now I'd like to request none other than Dr. Sunil Kahar Chairman I am Baroda Chapter to kindly deliver the welcome address. Thank you very much, Mr. Park, for elaborating my uh, this address. Uh, first of all, happy Independence Day to all the dignitaries who are present here. Yeah. Uh, Professor Amul Gokhale, the President of the President of India, is Koshal Sa, Secretary General of the Indian Institute of Metals, uh, Mr. Nanendra Sa in absence, yeah, Honorary Secretary of Amberoda Chapter, Professor K. Baba Pai, ex chairman, and Mr. Mr. Sumit Kenthola, Mr. Honorary Secretary Chapter, Professor K. Baba Pai, ex chairman, and uh, dear fellow members, at the outset, uh, my warm regard and esteem members of Indian Institute of Metals, members from IMHO, members from IM Baroda chapter, and for members from Industry Academia and Entrepreneur, dear student friend. It's my great pleasure to be a chairman of the Indian Institute of Metal Baroda chapter last year. As you know, IAM is an organization with a profound past, exciting futures being one of the largest, most prestigious association of scientists, engineers, technocrats, academicians, managers, industrials in the field of metallurgy and materials. As I referred, it is proud past. I wish to acknowledge the advert and achievements of all the past chairmen and other office bearers, their importance, their passionate and sensible leaderships of the institute combined to a clear vision with the past with, with they have put in the past what the IAM to the current position what we it has i am baroda chapter is one of the oldest chapter it was established in on to 27 to march 1971 on the day of hindu new year chetri navratri gudi padwa we can also uh, as celebrate as a varshpati pada utsav under the leadership of late Professor V.L. Gargil, late Mr. Y.M. Mehta, Professor Sesadri, 
uh, and uh, Professor Agrawal uh, in the premises of Metallurgical and Material Engineering Department of the MS University, Baroda. Uh, uh, generally, uh, however, how we can contribute, uh, we can forget the contributions of Professor Gargil. He was the head of department in, the, in that time, and he has continuously contacting Mr. Vyam Mehta. At the time, Mr. Vyam Mehta is as associated with various industries, and he asked him, asked him and inspire him to let us start our uh, this uh, Baroda chapter under the banner of IAM and try to uh, collaborate all the industries and academia. And due to his constant efforts, uh, the, uh, uh, the IAM Baroda chapter was established in the 1971. And then after a lot of in the, the academia from metallurgy department like uh, Professor Agrawal, then Professor Multi, Professor Sesadri was there at that time. And uh, all the uh, persons, uh, Mr. C.K. Sa, he is the father of Mr. N.C. Sa, and Mr. K. S. Vashan, Mr. Kulki Javeri, uh, Mr. Kishore Kumar, and uh, Mr. Subramaniam. They all industrialists are joined and uh, they keep live this uh, Am Baroda chapter. In the present scenario, most of the countries. Uh, uh, as we have, as we have faced a, a lot of uh, problem as far as uh, the COVID-19 is concerned in the present scenario, and it is very difficult to get acquainted all these uh, stakeholders uh, during this uh, uh, post-COVID-19 and during the post 19 period. So, I am Baroda chapter has taken uh, initiative to organize various events, like we did one events on uh, the 19th of May, that is on national webinar for students to get job in the phase of COVID-19. Then we have we did one workshops uh, on national webinar on for corporate social meet, which is uh, based on the theme of challenges and strategy for business growth, uh, in which uh, this event was organized jointly with the Yuva Koshal Bharat Foundation, Vadodara Chamber of Commerce and BPC. And in that, our uh, the former president, uh, Dr. Kamachi Mudali, sir, he was present as a webinar patron and address the gathering in this event, Mr. Uh, 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 Ministry of Steel, uh, Mr. Fagan Singh Kulaste, uh, Minister of State, who has been present uh, their events and he presented his, his talk about on the Manirbar Bharat Abhiyan. Uh, I am Baroda chapter, as you know, we are reached to landmark in 2021 as we have been. Uh, be reaching to the 50 years glory of I am Baroda chapter. And it's my it's my honor, it's my privilege that I have been the chairman, holding the chairman of the position and to fortunate to do various activity under the celebration of the Golden Jubilee year. So there are a lot of things has to be there in, in my mind, how to do and how to do and how to uh, go through that. Uh, but particularly uh, for this Golden Jubilee year celebration, we thought that uh, it is right time to start first our this uh, website uh, because as you know uh, uh, the covid 19 situation is there and still six months it is very difficult to come out from these situations and we doesn't having any uh, this uh, uh, virtual address of i am baroda chapter so we thought that uh, let us uh, start this uh, and we have communicated with all the um, uh, this our office bearers and we have uh, uh, make decision. Okay, let us uh, do. To prepare our websites. So uh, I went. Our uh, secretary general, uh, Kusal uh, Kusal Sasser, who have been here uh, to here to inaugural these uh, our websites. So with this, I will uh, conclude my speech. I welcome all the dignitary who present here and kindly listen to my views related to i am and finally i will i i i want all full wholehearted support from all the stakeholders head office and executive members of i am baroda chapter and all the member because this is this year we are going to organize various events seminar conferences and we are committed to organize one international conference at the end of 2021 in the month of december so for that i request all the stakeholders join together work together 
for betterment and new heights of i am baroda chapter thank you all thank you dr sunil di kahar for the uh, for the warm words warm welcome and the uh, and the the approach that uh, you are following in in uh, in bringing up the uh, the students and the education at iim now i'd like to introduce mr kushal saha secretary general the iim uh, mr kushal saha is holding the position of secretary general of the uh, indian institute of metal since 1st april 2018 till uh, today he did his graduation in metallurgy from iid kharagpur uh, he is the member uh, iim having over 35 years of experience in various capacities in metallurgical gamut his last position was that of a dire uh, director with the ms heavy engineering corporation limited now i'd like to request none other than mr kushal saha secretary general the iim to kindly deliver the inaugural address thank you parth uh, i would like to first of all put on records uh, this excellent initiative which is undertaken by dr kahar and his team okay. on behalf of the baroda chapter to organize uh, the ceremony to launch the website and this is also to beginning of the golden jubilee year for the baroda chapter so we have dignity on the dais uh, professor amul gokhle is the president of iim then dr kahar himself is there is the chairman of iim baroda chapter and assistant professor in ms engineer university baroda unfortunately narendra shah has not been able to attend this today because of his being unwell Mr. Urvesh Bala, Vice Chairman, Baroda Chapter; Mr. Prashant Barodia, Vice Chairman, Baroda Chapter; Mr. Sumit Kanthola, Honorary Treasurer, Baroda Chapter; Mr. Heman Panchal, Joint Secretary; and of course uh, we have Dr. K. Baba Pai. He is a ex-chairman and also the director of ITM Baroda Campus. And first of all, I'd also like to wish all of you. the 2074th independence day the compliments to all and as um, dr kahar has already mentioned baroda chapter will be completing 50 years in 2021 27 march so that's a big landmark and i must uh, congratulate baroda chapter that uh, initially they have been guided by people like professor v h gadgil and professor uh, mr y m mehta in fact uh, you are aware that why mehta's memorial lecture is being run uh, by both the baroda chapter as well as the bombay chapter i think last year it was held by you yes. right so next year is going to be in mumbai again so that's how they keep alternating it's a yes. annual event yes. and baroda chapter's office uh, they are one of those very few chapter who have their own premises and, and uh, they have a very good location the office have been there two years ago when i visited that but unfortunately i find it's not mentioned in your balance sheet so dr kahar please look into that how come it's got missing you can't yeah, miss yeah, such yeah. a big property yes. <laughs> because yes, it's so yes. funny because you are paying municipal taxes as shown but it doesn't show for what you are paying taxes so that's it yes yes sir just Definitely. Uh, <laughs> word of caution okay yeah. no issue no issue okay and uh, i think uh, 1992 was a year when you are uh, on uh, premises was inaugurated by our um, late sc wadwan he was a that point of time he became a president later but that point of time he was vice president 1992 and professor ba k baba pai has been around for many years and uh, in fact uh, he was very much helpful when i visited baroda and with his guidance we could inspire dr kahar and his team to take over so that was uh, really a turn around from the dormancy it was uh, there earlier i don't want to name people but some of people could not find enough time and it was on a dormancy and i think uh, that's about all not much to say and of course i would like to thank everybody who is listening to us who are on facebook we are member or an audience and wish you everybody a good day thank you thank you uh, mr kushal saha for the for the wise words uh now without taking any time uh, i'd like to introduce 
Professor An uh, Mol Gokhale, President uh, the IIM, Indian Institute of Metals. Uh, Dr. Gokhale did his B.Tech in uh, Metallurgical Engineering from IIT Bombay in 1978 and MS and PhD in Metallurgical Engineering from University of Pittsburgh, USA in 1980 and 1985, respectively. He served in DRDO for 30 years, retiring as Distinguished Scientist and Director. Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory, Hyderabad, in July 2015. At uh, DMRL, he led a research on aluminum lithium alloys for aerospace applications and uh, aluminum alloy components for torpedoes, crash-resistant aluminum foams, uh, additive manufacturing for NI-based super alloys and, wet and other very high temperature materials for hypersonic vehicles. In August 2015, he was re-employed as the professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in IIT Bombay. He has been a life member of IIM from 1993 and has taken part in the organization of many IIM events. He was the conveyor of NDM ATM 2011 held at Hyderabad. He was the vice chairman and chairman of IIM Hyderabad chapter for four years and two years respectively. He has been the recipient of several awards from University of Pittsburgh, DRDO, National Research and Development Corporation, the IIM, and is a fellow of Indian National uh, Academy of Engineering. He has been serving in Niti IO committees on rare earth permanent magnets, Ministry of Defense Committee on Strategic Materials Policy, Science and Engineering Research Board and various committees of uh, Indian National Academy of Engineering and Board of Governors of National Institute of Foundry and Forge Technology. He is the chairman of the Research Council of National Metallurgical Laboratory Jamshedpur and the chairman of Steering Committee of Aeronautical Research and Development Board, DRDO, since January 2017. He was the vice president of IIM since 2017 and has been appointed as the president from August 1, 2020 for a period of one year. Now, I'd like to request Professor Amol Gokhale, president of the IIM, to deliver the presidential address. Thank you very much, uh, Parth, for introducing me. Uh, I'm truly happy to be uh, here on the IIM Baroda chapter platform. Uh, in the presence of uh, Dr. K. Baba Pai, who's, who was synonymous with the Baroda chapter for a very long time, uh, along with, of course, the founders, uh, Professor V. L. Gadgil and uh, Mr. Vayam Mehta, uh, who is known to so many of us from IIM. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kahar, for this kind invitation. I'm happy to see Mr. Kushal Saha, our Secretary General, who is our captain of the team operating from the Kolkata head office and who took special interest in reviving this chapter uh, along with uh, Dr. Sundil Kahar. Who badhane ajna swatantrata devas mate shubhecha apuchu. Extremely happy to greet all of you on this 74th Independence Day. Uh, so I would like to say something about this institute for those who may be a little less familiar. And uh, since we are opening our website uh, and the chapter has also got revived after some gap, I think it may be good to recapitulate what we are all about, what we stand for and what we are aspiring to do in the near future. So at the core of the functions and responsibilities of our institute is metallurgy and materials engineering. These are the words which are enshrined in our logo, as you can see on the banner behind Dr. Kahar. By these words, we mean the knowledge of metallurgy, which we share, we document, we test, we enhance, and we do value additions to the knowledge. Let me take a few minutes to explain. We share the knowledge by conducting seminars and symposia and also publishing technical papers. Our annual event called the annual technical meeting, which combines itself with the National Metallurgy's Day each year, is a brand by itself attended by more than 600 or 700 people each year. 
last year's event at Trivandrum was a mega success, attended by a large many people with intense technical deliberations and discussions. There is also an event known as 4M, which stands for Minerals, Metals, Materials and Manufacturing, which the Delhi chapter organizes every two years. It's an exhibition come conference, which is attended by many people from different countries as well. So these are two flagship events of the journal, apart from whatever the chapters do at their own level. We have a flagship journal called the Transactions of the Indian Institute of Metals, which <clears throat> over the years has become a brand in itself. And it's a monthly, which has an impact factor of 1.2. Uh, and it's in fact uh, a surplus making journal now. And uh, it's published with Springer Nature publications. And we get papers from more than 15 countries authors from more than 15 countries among our editors or two editors from two or three are from Europe and there are reviewers spread all across the world because of which the quality of the <coughs> journal has improved over the years. The second thing I said is that we document knowledge, metallurgical knowledge that is done in the form of technical books. Earlier we were publishing books through some other agencies but now Springer is our preferred partner. We have published both, uh, I think, low cost textbooks with some other publishers. And with Springer, we are publishing uh, specialized topic books. Uh, in the last November event, a book on light weighting in defense, aerospace and automotives was published. And in the coming year also, we are hoping to release one or two books. We test knowledge. By that I mean, we have a syllabus in the form of the associate membership of Indian Institute of Metals. With test knowledge, we conduct exams based on that syllabus. Those who pass the exams, we award them the certificate, which still recently was considered to be equivalent of B.Tech degree in metallurgical engineering. And it was honored by the government departments as well as private industries and uh, government PSUs in employing people. Such is the quality of its syllabus that when IIT Kharagpur established metallurgy department in the 1960s, they wrote that our program is as good as AMIM program. So that was the stature of AMIM program. There has been no dilution in the syllabus. It's just unfortunate that through a Supreme Court order, the associate memberships of about 64 professional bodies were not considered equivalent to a degree, but in its own right, AMIM is a very, very strong certificate. And I do invite uh, aspirants to write the exam and get the certification. And we hope that the industry will recognize that as a special uh, qualification for considering people for promotion, etc. We try to enhance knowledge. We enhance knowledge uh, by offering short courses. Our former president, Dr. Kamachi Mudli, whose name was just mentioned, uh, has created a CII IIM platform very recently through which one course on stainless steels was offered in the last week of July. And in the first week of September, a course on <laughs> failure analysis will also be offered. And later in the year, we will have a course on secondary melting of steel and another course on lightweight materials for automotives conducted by a combination of academia, R&D and industry people. When things, when the lockdown is fully lifted, we will try to see whether live courses can be organized so that we can take the participants to some industrial units and show them live demonstrations. So these courses will be different from those which are offered standard by universities or those which are available on open uh, platforms. And the last function <coughs> related to knowledge is to do value additions. By that I mean creating white papers, creating theme papers, finding out technology gaps where a group of people, each expert in his own domain area, 
they come together they deliberate on the available knowledge and they create wisdom out of it and prepare uh, approach papers for various departments or certain industries now although the institute has done exceedingly well on all the previous things that i mentioned namely share document test and enhance knowledge on the value addition part of it the institute needs to <clears throat> improve and that's something which i mention uh, very soon now i'm coming to the next topic which is what are the new initiatives of the institute so in continuation of the courses that we are offering uh we are going to create certification courses so currently the courses are uh, stand alone courses but now we would like to conduct certification courses by that i mean uh, an aspirant a candidate will do certain courses on the open platforms such as those offered by lptel or maybe <coughs> tedx or courses on swayam or now government has come up with something known as swayam prabha uh, those are open coursewares combined with the specialized content being offered by iim and we will define a certain syllabus and those who complete that syllabus of maybe four or five different courses will get a level 1 or level 2 or level 3 certificate much like you have similar certificates for non destructive testing given by the uh, indian society for non destructive testing or uh, you have the yellow belt green belt <clears throat> and black belt offered by uh, the six sigma institute similarly the indian institute of metals will have certification courses this is not only going to be valuable say after 10 years when it establish itself as a brand because of its unique nature which combines fundamental knowledge with applied knowledge coming right from the horse's mouth the people from industries people from our and institutions uh in future uh, we 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 offer industry specific specialized courses so let's say that a steel industry particularly wants the iim to conduct a course for its own employees then the instructors do it only for that particular industry uh, so that will be a targeted course knowing what are the priority areas of the industry as defined by them and then we train we try to train their own employees <clears throat> in the near future one or two courses we will also offer uh, to the international audience because i am hearing from the neighboring countries that there is a great demand for indian taught courses there is a great viewership to nptel courses even from european countries whose phd programs are somewhat weak uh, as far as the courses are concerned and they like to see uh, the lectures offered by the indian professors on nptel so we we can go on some of the international audiences Uh, there is a platform we are exploring right now how to approach them uh, to the international audience especially the neighboring countries uh, which will much appreciate i think the knowledge which we are going to share our flagship journal i mentioned transactions of indian institute of metals uh, publishes papers on materials and materials technology but uh, now we are living in the world of uh, interdisciplinary research transdisciplinary research where it's very difficult to distinguish between what is metallurgical material what is a chemical material what are the physics based materials and also the manufacturing processes which are very intricately linked to materials knowledge so we want to allocate one of the 12 issues of the transactions to design and manufacturing of materials to recognize the importance of design and manufacturing of materials there is a large materials modeling community which is trying to ab initio design new alloys to reduce the total development to deployment time and there is a large manufacturing community you can say in the ms university itself that in the mechanical engineering department there will be some people in manufacturing who are interested in the core metallurgical knowledge because manufacturing without the knowledge of metallurgy 
it's too too phenomenal uh, lacks basically the scientific reasoning often so i think the metallurgy community can offer much to the mechanical engineering manufacturing uh, community another initiative we are launching is to create a handbook on steels in general the institute would like to create handbooks because we understand from our publishers that compared to specialty uh, seminar based proceedings or compared to some other books the handbooks demand uh, have a lot of demand and they will go for 15 20 years they will be referred in future so we would like to create handbook on steels and we have already identified the chief editor uh, from tata steel and he and his team they will be creating a handbook besides recognizing the importance of data science in materials and metallurgy uh, we are going to uh, publish a book on handling data in materials engineering maybe within one year the third activity which is totally a new activity and here uh, i would request the baroda chapter to take some interest is creating databases today we live in a world it's a digital world it's a world where we learn a lot from the legacy and the world is hungry for data we are seeing that all around actually everybody wants everybody else's data so that the business opportunities can be understood and so on so why can't our 55 56 chapters create databases on the industries in their own zones the r&d institutions of metallurgy and near metallurgy also let us not be so rigid and also what are the educational institutions both in the government sector and in the private sector uh, and what kind of courses either directly in metallurgy and materials or nearby related areas they are offering over the period of say 5 to 10 years we will have a huge database which we will create in the right format so that it's amenable to analytics and then you can actually create wisdom out of it in terms of whether there are the engineering colleges are offering the right kind of courses in relation to the employment opportunities what are the technology gaps which the research community can fulfill once we integrate all the 56 chapters information so this is one of the projects we would like to do first we would like like to sort out the technical issues the data that is collected should be in the proper format so that we don't end up repeating the exercise again also we need to compile materials database whatever the indian industries are producing without identifying themselves maybe and the details of the proprietary information whether they can share some of the materials databases and if industries have some hesitations they can protect their identity and the r&d institutions and the academics institutions can also share data which they generate so all together a country a national policy people policy makers will have an access to what kind of materials related activities are going on and in future we hope that the policy makers approach indian institute of metals as a think tank uh, and as a consultant for all the materials related issues my next point is uh, going international meaning that in the beginning we would like to join hands with international societies it's not as if no attempts have been made in the past we have made attempts in the past <coughs> and i remember in the year 2014 a joint session on integrated computational materials engineering was held <coughs> between iim and tms of usa but there is no continuity in that so now we are working hard to establish an mou with tms which is one of the flagship materials based society of usa which is organically much compatible with the indian institute of metals the initial signals are positive and we are hoping to forge a relationship with them before the end of september like the tms we will also join hands with european societies there is a federation of european material societies and we are exploring uh, to have a, a relationship with them 
more importantly just as what we are to tms there must be many societies in the eastern part of the world for whom i am maybe a bigger society and they may be eager to join hands with us just to give an example actually bangladesh sometime back wanted to establish a chapter of iim in fact we would try to revive that contact and see whether as soon as the covid situation improves whether we can open the chapter of iim in bangladesh because technical front that country is also offering excellent quality education and there may be good amount of interest in institute of metals activities so we'll explore singapore japan korea etc whatever is possible we will create theme papers or status papers on different topics what comes to my mind right now in the beginning and baroda chapter can also suggest some topics mm -hmm. but what comes to my mind right now is critical metals as you are saying after uh, the major countries have sort of created rigid walls around them our own country is giving a call of a self reliant country we need to be self reliant in critical metals by critical metals i mean rare earths tungsten lithium cobalt etc similarly environmental issues in metallurgical engineering is a very sensitive topic and we need to create some kind of theme papers you cannot have a theme paper on all possible materials but certainly a few materials urban mining which is related to electronic waste recycling is another such area a rare earth i just mentioned where india has the mines and there is a mining activity there is a requirement of rare earth based permanent magnets but there is no one to convert the rare earth oxides and other compounds into rare earth metals so such kind of theme papers can be created and we can actually encourage government ministries to come to us give us some funding and get theme papers made so that they can base their policies on not only data uh, compiled by the institute but also the analysis which is done and the wisdom that is provided my last point is about digital outreach and today's exercise of launching a website is also a testimony of that digital outreach we are living in a digital world today so the website of an institute is its digital twin when one should be able to visit the website not only get information but we should be able to conduct transactions and we should be able to conduct business using the website uh, portal so for everybody now a uh, website as well as the social media accounts they are the uh, indicators of our personality they give us the identity today and that's why of course i encourage that you have created this website that when your golden jubilee year so as you would have noticed uh, we have become in the last 15 days active on twitter linkedin we were already on facebook and instagram but now you will find that including today's event and the course which is upcoming in the first week of september and there is another course being offered by i am jamshedpur chapter called behind the teachers desk they all you can now see on the twitter handle of the institute and uh, i would i have one more suggestion for the baroda chapter is that while we are having 10 or 12 individual websites of the different chapters and as i said that the members have an identity through their chapters but then to uh, reduce certain amount of expenditure what actually an idea which i am proposing is whether there is a technical solution to integrate the websites in such a way that the individual chapters identity is retained but information of all the other sister chapters are automatically shared with individual chapters so while baroda chapters updates in its own website the jamshedpur chapter mumbai chapter pune chapter they automatically get updated that's called the integration of the website and we are we will explore a technical solution for that and propose all the chapters to merge and the entire thing in future can be on a similar server and 
uh, the same entity can actually uh, maintain the server as well. This will reduce the expenditure. That's the benefit to the institute. And the entire organization will feel that they are part of the same whole. So there will be a feeling of unity in diversity, both. I feel that uh, in this year's council, we have actually taken uh, three women council members. We have at least four people who are below 40 years of age. So we want to make the institute uh, more uh, gender diverse and also more age diverse. We want to include younger generation, uh, not just in participation, but in decision making. And so I invite all the student community who may, may, might be watching this program uh, to be uh, an integrated part of the institute. And I would like them to make that as a lifelong relationship. So just to summarize where the institute would like to head in the coming year and beyond. And before I mention that, let me mention that the uh, Platinum Jubilee year will be celebrated from 24th February 2021 which is the 75th uh, anniversary of the Institute uh, in the next one year. And in fact, the 75th annual technical meeting will be conducted under the uh, presidentship of Mr. TV Narendran, who is the incoming president one year from now. And this program will be conducted in Vigyan Bhavan uh, with the chief guestship of a BVIP, we are hoping. And that will be a celebration to certainly participate. And then we are also encouraging the chapters to conduct monthly events which can be made available to all the chapters and try to get uh, writers who can write textbooks, who can write specialty books, and the institute will try to publish them. Uh, Vadodara is a very important location for India. It's an industrial city. It's an education city. It's a city which has a rich history and we certainly want uh, the Baroda chapter to play a very major role in the growth of this institute. The five important thrust areas which I am defining for the institute uh, is training and reskilling of industrial uh, human resources through conducting courses and offering certification courses. Secondly, conducting specialty workshops on emerging topics for academia and R&D. I mentioned rare earth, critical metals, urban mining, recycling, etc. We can create uh, specialty workshops. I have recently encouraged one of the young council members that he create a webinar series where only the people who are below 40 years of age will actually give lectures on topics which are emerging topics and call it new horizons in materials, metallurgy and manufacturing and have either a monthly event or have a two days sim national symposium, which can be an online symposium. So this way the younger people feel that a part of the Indian Institute of Metals. Thirdly, we would like to create relevant databases. This is a long-term solution in the beginning. People may not see the benefits of it. They will think that the information is available all over the internet today, but believe me, uh, there can be good information, there is bad information, there is a good data, there is a bad data. So we like to collect data which is reliable, coming from authentic sources, and then preserve it uh, securely by the institute. The fourth activity is conduct students' activities, including tutorials for students. See, there are enough lectures given to the students. Many of us are in the academic world. But what they ask is actually the problem solving, problem solving kind of a guidance to them that when you see a problem, then you don't think of course one, course two, course three. You should, you should be able to approach one by one. And some of our experienced people can actually give some live examples so that the mind should be free of whether somebody has done the course or not. He should, should be able to take a course as he sees and then seek knowledge from whichever resources and at least provide a few solutions. And lastly, to promote student industry and R&D interfaces, because no matter how many metallurgy graduates we produce, finally, it's our responsibility to see that they are employable. So creation of database can also help us in finding the employability, finding what the employers want, but also 
we should create interfaces between industry and students students should know what goes on in industries industries should also know that these are the graduates of metallurgy these are their capabilities many times you would find that people employ mechanical engineers or chemists or physicists where actually they should employ metallurgical engineers so even our students should know what are their shortcomings if they are poor in applying mathematics which they learn they must hone their mathematical skills maybe they need to imbibe newer technologies of industry 4.0 machine learning etc so we need to cross the boundaries of traditional metallurgy and learn new things so that we are up to date and lastly as i said we like to create status papers on selected materials technologies find technology gaps and suggest way forward for various departments of the government and who knows later on maybe even certain uh, venture capitalist may approach iim uh, and try to get status papers made so that they know that their investment decisions uh, are rightly placed so friends these are some of the areas which the institute would like to progress in i might have missed couple of them the institute has a very very rich history uh, one look at uh, the former presidents uh, is an overwhelming experience the former presidents have been industry stalwarts they have been research giants as well as very well accomplished and respected academicians uh, and also people from the government are there apart from the presidents there are many people who may not have been president but they have been foot soldiers of the indian institute of metals i myself consider myself as a foot soldier of the institute you can always do things to strengthen the institute from within you may help the processes the way the processes are conducted in by the institute the way it is structured make it more lean make it more agile and make it more effective once again i thank uh, dr sunil kahar uh, i was sad to know that mr shah uh, went through a fall earlier uh, mm -hmm. and uh, he is not able to join us at least live but i hope he watches the recording later on and gives his full support to the institute uh, i am happy to say all the other uh, officials of the baroda chapter and i would like to see baroda chapter as one of the leading chapters and my last request to the baroda chapter is you have two neighboring chapters for your information you have a baruch chapter which was launched just maybe 3 years back and you also have a hazira chapter which was somewhat inactive for some time so while you are growing yourselves then let us see that you are also able to revive uh, your neighboring chapters so that the institute as a whole grows mm -hmm. apart from that uh, again once again uh, my greetings to all of you on the 74th uh, independence day my standing invitation to all of you uh, to join the nmd atm 2020 event which is actually organized in november but we are seeking ministry permission at present to postpone it to 23rd 24th 25th and 26th of february where 23rd will be uh, an international platinum jubilee symposium 24th will be the platinum jubilee celebrations come the national metallurgist day celebrations and 25th and 26th will be the annual technical meeting a special attraction for this year annual technical meeting is that selected uh, good quality abstracts we will request the authors to submit eight page manuscripts they will be reviewed at the same critical level as the transactions papers and we will publish them uh, in the form of a proceedings which will be science citation index it will have a doi and so springer has kindly agreed to publish the proceedings so many people from the academic world would be interested i think and so please uh, join the nmd atm event 2020 this year and make it a big success thank you once again and greetings to all thank you back to you parth so sure, thank you uh, professor anmol gokhle amol gokhle uh and this honestly is the uh, energy uh the mindset that we need uh from other institutions to grow uh, as a whole and as a nation
uh, once again, uh, thank you so much for the informative talk and uh, for all the efforts you are putting in uh, into the uh, IIM uh, and, and the nation and its future. Thank you so much. Uh, now, I'd like to request uh, Mr. Heman Panchal, uh, Joint Secretary, IIM Baroda Chapter, to uh, propose the vote of thanks and uh, wrap up this session. Yeah, am I audible? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Parth. Uh, so it's a very difficult part, but it's important as well. So, honorable dignitaries and most valued guests, good evening. Happy Independence Day to all. It is my privilege to propose the vote of thanks on behalf of Indian Institute of Metal Baroda chapter on this web website launching ceremony of Indian Institute of Metal Baroda chapters, which is the kickoff program of the Golden Jubilee celebration of uh, establishment of IIM Baroda chapter. I would like to express my profound gratitude to Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Amol Gokhale, President of Indian Institute of Metal, for sparing his valuable time with us and enlighten about various activities of Indian Institute of Metals at national level, like various certification courses, exploring to international audiences, interdisciplinary research, handbooks of steel, creating databases, digital outreach, giving guidance about uh, the website. Thank you very much, sir. It is indeed very informative speech. I take this opportunity to extend our sincere thanks to uh, Mr. Kushal Saha, Secretary General, the Indian Institute of Metals, for permitting us to launch Indian Institute of Metal Baroda chapter website within span of very short notice, and be with us for gracing the occasion as guest of honor and expressing his views regarding history of IIM Baroda chapter. Thank you, both of you, sir. We would like to have your support in future also. A warm thanks goes to all participants as well as the members of I am Baroda, I am uh, across the country from various academic institutions and industries of various cities and states of India, because without you, the event would not have been possible. Behind every successful program lie manifold attempts of our committed EC members. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the contribution of our dedicated team for their support and cooperation to host this event. I would also like to thank the office bearer of Indian Institute of Metal, Eto. A special thanks to all past office bearer from 1971 to till date for their efforts. We are indeed very lucky to get their efforts, supports, cooperations, which made it possible to bring the IIM Baroda chapter to its current positions of eminence amongst glo uh, global metallurgical institutes and industrial bodies. I would like to thank all social media friends for their support and spreading information of events to the national level via various social media platforms. I would be failing in my duty if I do not uh, convey my thanks to the print and electronic media for the effort they are taking for coverage of this event. Thank you all. Finally, in the last, I would extend my whole, wholehearted gratitude to our illustrious, young, and very dynamic personality, Chairman of IIM Baroda Chapter, Dr. Sunil Kahar, who always lives up our expectation and who is our pillar of strength. Because of his vision, enthusiasm, and tireless effort, our Baroda chapter revives and moves toward the success path. He encourages us and gives the chance to young talent to grow by proper guidance, support, and giving responsibility to work freely under his chairmanship. So thank you all so very much. We all look forward to you for your future support as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Heyman, for the. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining. Thank yes. you. And uh, before before we sign off, before we end the live, I would uh, request once again, Dr. Amol, 
to kindly share his screen and launch the website officially so that you guys so that the viewers so that the other members can see the website live and they can browse the website later on after this session so i have shared the screen yeah and and uh, there we go yeah so so you have sent me any yes sir yeah it is on mail iambaroda.com www.iambaroda.com uh, you have sent me an email yeah whatsapp bhi kar mail bhi kar mail bhi kar sir acha uh, email 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 i am not seeing the ha huh. or you can just i am but or you can just yeah. type sir type I am type where internet. where uh, the browser browser uh, oh, oh here browser okay, okay. Browser. In, the, in another tab in another tab on the on the yeah, 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 yeah. spot end yeah, yeah. Ah, right, yeah right 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 <laughs> no yeah, worries yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. chapter uh, nahi baroda bar, only baroda no no let us see uh, let us see dot com yeah so this this seems to be the one yeah or no or that's not the one yeah yeah this one okay yeah it's come so nice it's okay yeah, yeah so just congratulations okay. there we thank go thank you yeah, all yeah, yeah. congratulations okay, we uh, achieved the goal that's it yes and there <laughs> we go that that is uh, our iambaroda.com website it's officially launched and you uh, can browse it yourselves the viewers our friends from all over the country all over the world you can browse the website iambaroda.com and uh, this pretty much concludes our uh, live session of uh, today's launch and our golden jubilee year and uh, the golden jubilee year of iim baroda chapter thank you all for joining thank you to all the panelists once again for their informative speeches informative talks and uh, their votes and their and their presence in this seminar thank you so much once again and uh, we will see you very soon with other uh, live seminars that we do and uh, yeah thank you happy independence day and have a great one have a great day yeah. same to thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have we have also yeah. put one link for iim ho also in the website okay. itself So whenever mm -hmm. any person who visit I am Baroda chapter directly, we can guide them to join with I am head office I am dot India dot net. So any type of this online membership and all that will be taken care by I am H O itself. We will certainly track your website yeah, for yeah. sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So thank you. Like the meeting then. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice meeting all of you. Okay. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you.